Hello and welcome to Bowls of a TV. My name's Scott and let's take a look at what's been making the headlines this week. A new sport could be making its way to the district and the council wants your views. The summer of adventure continues at Plesley Vale. Residents are asked to be cautious with their household waste and we visit Tiny Town in Balbra to see what they have on offer for our younger residents. But first, more than 80 council properties have been identified for external wall insulation to be fitted. The council applied for a Green Homes grant to help the works go ahead, which will see the council properties upgraded to provide better insulation and reduce household energy bills. The improvements not only help residents save money, but it also works towards the council's ambition to reduce the carbon footprint of the district to net zero by 2030. This layer will be finished either with a coat of render or with an alternative cladding to protect it from the elements and provide a much more energy efficient home. Something that Councillor Sandra Peake says is important and has benefited those in phase one of the scheme. On phase one, uh, which we've already been completed, we've had some favourable comments from our tenants saying what a great difference it's made to the insulation of the properties uh, and also uh, a saving to their um, energy bills. So all in all, it's been really, uh, you know, an excellent project. The £410,000 grant from the Green Homes Fund is to be match funded by the council and will enable the second phase of the external wall insulation programme to proceed. This cements the council's commitment to their housing tenants to provide them with good quality, modern and efficient properties, which is now more important than ever. Now, it can sometimes be a challenge to keep the kids entertained, especially during the summer holidays. But for those of you with younger children, there is a perfect place hidden away in Balbra. Tiny Town is a unique role play centre experience designed to spark your child's creativeness. They can use imaginative play to grow and discover the world around them with no limitation on where their imaginations can take them. We pay them a visit to learn more. Even though we are mainly for children 0 to 5, we don't discriminate and we do let older children come in because all children are different, they learn differently and at different times. Um, so what we do is we have some under five sessions so for the little ones and then um, open sessions for older children to come in um, and enjoy and explore as well. As soon as the children come in, they just go, they just toddle off and the amount of parents that will say, I can't believe they've just wandered off to play because they'll take them to other play areas and they're just glued to them. But we do find us literally as soon as they walk in the door and they, they look round and they're just, they're just gone. They just want to go, they want to explore. Are there any particular areas in Tiny Town that are more popular than others, do you think? I'd say definitely the shop and the house. Uh, especially at our other site in Anston. Shop and the house is very, very popular. And it's the same area as well. And we've got a cafe at, at this one instead. And that they're all, three of them are always rammed. And always messy at the end of the session. Yeah. Enjoy tidying them. It's those foundations that all children need that they don't necessarily get outside because, I mean, everything's about safety now and, and keeping the children safe. Um, but obviously parents want them to be able to learn and access learning as well, and this is just perfect. Having worked in education and having my own children, um, it, yeah, it inspired me to do, to do this, to try and give something, something back. There are still places available for a summer adventure at Plesley Vale Outdoor Activity Centre. Have you got what it takes to scale the climbing wall, make a splash on the water in our canoeing sessions, or go all bear grills in our bushcraft sessions? Wherever your choice, there is something for everyone. The activities are aimed at children aged 8 to 16 years of age, costing just £25 per day, and places must be pre-booked. 
Residents are being asked not to put gas canisters in their bins. The canisters, which are often used for camping stoves and barbecues, can explode when they are processed, which puts our bin men and waste processors at risk. If you have an empty canister, it can be refilled or it can be taken to your nearest household waste recycling centre for disposal. A resident of Sutton in Ashfield has paid a £200 fixed penalty notice for fly tipping black bags of domestic waste. An environment officer was able to retrieve the evidence from the dump waste resulting in the offender being identified. If you need to hire someone to dispose of your waste, make sure they are a registered waste carrier. And finally, there is a wide range of sporting activities available across the district, but the council wants to know your thoughts on the game of Patank. Otherwise known as Bulls, Patank is a hugely popular game in Europe and it is growing in popularity here in the UK. The game is usually played on a gravel top terrain at least 12 metres long with hollow steel balls and a small wooden jack. It is highly accessible with players of all ages and abilities able to join in and Councillor David Downs told us why this is key. Well anyone can play the game from grandparents to toddlers as it gives them the opportunity to compete on level terms because the emphasis is on skill and accuracy rather than power or reaction time. With all the potential of Patank, the council is asking residents if they think facilities should be provided in the district. We don't have any provision for Patank within the district, so we want local residents to let us know if there's any interest in playing the game, so we can consider how we might progress the sport. You can choose your own level of play, whether you just want an occasional social game on a sunny day, or to join a local league, or even play in regional, national and international competitions. Well, that's certainly about my physical level now. But if you're interested, then please make sure you contact the council so they can look at providing some facilities across the district. I'm afraid that's all we have time for this week, and you'll all be glad to hear that Michael will be back next week where he'll be taking a look at Hardwick Hall from a different point of view. But for now, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>